Hi, I'm Uriel, and this is about my awakening. A series of things fell into place, so I managed to hook up with Rack again and um, come to the DAS Centre to do some more work on myself with Percy Garcia. I've been here seven days, I think this is day seven, and um, it has been spectacular. Personally, I had to work on my body, my emotions, my mind, and to actually do some reconnection. And um, I've worked with Percy before, so I know that um, he's a genuine ayahuasquero, and um, it would actually be a benefit to me to come here. Fortunate that Rack had actually put the group together in many ways. Uh, he's managed to do some lectures as well, so giving some background to some of the new people here. It's been certainly worthwhile coming. Some of my experiences in a nutshell. Um, I guess last night was quite profound. Physically, physically draining, but helping me to, I guess, move on from past emotional trauma. Going right back to my birth, so it's been quite deep work. How has it done that? How has it enabled you to re re release trauma? In several ways, actually. I have gained some new tools for working with people. I have in the past used the breath to work with people to work with myself, and last night I was specifically working with my breath. Um, some of the visions I've been shown various ways of peeling off the layers, I guess, for one of the better terms. So it's been quite enlightening. And what's your previous experience with ayahuasca? Um, I first met Percy in 2006 at the conference when he was presenting there, which is when Rath actually um, met Percy. We lay side by side at that ceremony which started back on the path. Um, and then I came back last year and spent... I had as it turned out, three one-on-one -on -one sessions with Percy, he'd been unwell, so I was the only person at the center, so that was quite um, spectacular, and I just knew I had to come back to keep working on my phone. And what qualities do you think Percy uh, provides a secure endero for people? His genuineness, his honesty, he works from the heart. Um, he looks after people spectacularly well. He uh, manages the centre very well. He is a maestro when he actually works with the spirits. It's, it's a phenomenal experience. Um, and a, a, an, ex an expansive, I guess is the word, experience in that it's not just us he works with. There are the ripple effects perhaps through the universe. And um, what, what's the overall value you think that you've learnt from your ayahuasca experience? Well, for me it's a tool to reconnect. When I'm back home working in Australia, I work with people on the lowest socioeconomic rung of, that, of the, in the society. Um, and it's very easy to get caught up in the energies and the fears and the dramas, the alcohol, the drugs. You know, I work with people who've been through the revolving door of the penal system. I work with people from all different backgrounds. And I, um, I guess it's difficult on some level to maintain the balance, so that's why I like to come here to give myself a refresher, because as healers, we all need to look after ourselves, to look after others. Bueno, thanks for sharing.